Hey guys, so I know it's Monday instead of Wednesday, my normal posting days, but I just started a new job, a second job, and Mondays just work good for me. I don't work on Sunday. That way I can film all day and get videos out to you guys on Monday. So it works out. It's perfect. So, as you can tell by the title of this video, I got a job at Sephora. And I can't even explain to you, begin to explain to you how happy I am and excited I am. Um, Sephora is just a place that I have looked for and everywhere else, everywhere else that I've worked. I've got along with everybody because I just get along with everybody. But to have to work with people that share the same passions as you and love makeup as much as you do you just can't ask for anything more it's like just like having friends that share the same passion as you just makes it that much better so like you some of you maybe if you're watching this video if you found it randomly or you're a subscriber um sephora could be kind of hard to get into um i know for me my experience with the whole interview and getting the job was completely 180 from what I have searched. From all the other videos I watched on YouTube or questions that I read, there was like all these questions, they have the perfume question, they have like seriously a bunch of different things that you, that they ask you supposedly. And some people had like three interviews and some people had two interviews and I know it's going to be different depending where you live, if it's like a huge Sephora, a smaller Sephora. Um, depending on your town and stuff like that. So, I just wanted to give you guys my experience through the whole interview. Okay, so let me start off from the beginning. I applied back in August. I want to say August 25th. Yeah, it was August 25th. So I applied on... Oh, well, actually, <laughs> it's a funny story. So, when I moved here... I, there was no Sephora, I searched for it, there was nothing, and I was kind of upset, like, where am I going to do shopping and stuff like that. So, I was in the mall one day, and the first thing I went to this mall was I looked, see if there was a Sephora or there a Mac, and there wasn't. So, we're walking in the store in the mall, and then my sister's like, that girl has a Sephora bag. I was like, no, it's impossible, there's no Sephora here. She's like, look. So I look, and I was like, what? What is this? So I was like, the only other place it could be is inside of a JCPenney. So I went, and there's a Sephora in there. And I was like, oh my god, I'm so excited. So I quickly went in, went crazy. Um, I didn't talk to anybody then, just because I was looking kind of rough. So, um, yeah, so I went home that same day and I applied. That was on August 25th. Um, it didn't say anything about seasonal or anything like that, so... I was like, okay, I'm just going to apply. I was working somewhere else, but dream job, hello. So, yeah, okay, I applied. It was August 25th. Then I called about two weeks later. Oh, no, no, I went in. I went into Sephora, and I asked the lady there. I was like, hi, I was wondering if you guys were hiring. She was like, we are, actually. Um, just fill out an application online she's like but what's your name so I told her my name and I just introduced her and like talked I made sure that day when I went in I made sure my makeup was beat <laughs> you know what I mean I made sure that my makeup was good so I went in okay I talked to her she got my name and she was like yeah I'll pass it on to my beauty leader and I was like thank you so much and I made sure like I didn't leave right away I went in I still made a couple swatches bought something little and then I left and then I want to say three weeks passed and nothing. So I called and I was like, hi, may I speak to a beauty leader? And she was like, um, oh, that wasn't three weeks because it was earlier. So it was probably like a week later. So I called and asked for a beauty leader and she was like, yeah, we are hiring, but it's probably for seasonal and it's not, I'm not going to be looking for, for people until like the first couple of weeks of September. And I was like, okay, thank you, blah, blah. And I was like, just, my name is Jade. I did apply in person, just stuff like that. Just to let her know that it was me, so she can correlate the two. So, after that, I work. My second job is in the mall also. 
So I made sure every single day that I worked that I went into Sephora and I just did some clean swatches, like messed around, you know what I mean? Um, bought something here and there, but I made sure I said hello and got friendly with the girls and I kind of met almost everyone there. So every single day for probably, <laughs> she said she was going to start calling people in the beginning of September. Well, nothing. It was like the end of September. I was like, I probably just didn't get it. it was something like that. So one day I wasn't even planning to talk to anybody. I go in there and I'm looking at the holiday sets. I'm like, oh wow. So I'm looking and then I hear Jade. And I'm like, what? And I turn around and it's the beauty leader. And she was like, I called you. And I was like, you did? <laughs> At first of all, I didn't know she like knew me. But she's like, I called you yesterday and tried to see if we can meet. And I was like, I'm so sorry I missed your call. First of all, I wanted to die because I missed the call. Because I sometimes I like I don't answer numbers I don't know. So I was like, I'm so sorry. And she's like, hold on, let me go in the back and see when I have time to see you. She, I was like, okay, great. So she goes in the back and I'm like, oh my God, my hair, my makeup. <laughs> so I'm freaking out. She comes back and she's like, can you come Monday at 2? And I was like, absolutely. <laughs> so, and it worked out perfectly because my I had to start my second job, my first job at 3. So I had time. So, for my interview, I wore all black. I had like a black button up with a black skirt. Um, kind of like a pencil skirt, a little bit shorter, but still classy. On black flats. Um, I made sure I looked... I wore all black just because like in all the other videos they say to wear all black. So I wore all black and then um, my makeup was basically the same but a nude lip. So I made sure my makeup looked good, wore all black. So this is the funny part. So we go back and I'm talking to her and she did not ask me one single question that I searched, that I researched. I was like kind of scared because I was like, what the heck? The only thing that she asked me was why I want to work for Sephora. And I just preference like uh, that I love customer service, helping helping people and makeup are my two mo like passions in life. And I said, I told her about my YouTube channel and I said, I love helping people and giving advice. Makeup is something that I love. Uh, I said how much it means to me, the customer service that I get in Sephora, so it just makes me want to work there. Just like, you know, they're very big on customer service, so if you apply, if you plan on applying, make sure you preference how much you love customer service. Um, yeah, so basically, she asked me that question, complimented me on my makeup and the way I looked and stuff like that, and then just asked if I had any questions. And that's one of the worst things about interviews is like coming up with questions and they ask you that. So I was like, how do you like working here? Or, and then I was like, what about the education and just stuff like that. I just kept, she's just like, do you have any more questions? Do you have any more questions? Do you have any more questions? About six times. I was like, I don't have any more, but I want to be like, no. You know what I mean? And cut the thing short. So finally she was like, well, I love you and I'd love to offer you the position. And I wanted to die right there. I was done. I was like, yes, yes. I start Monday, tomorrow. And I'm going to, I'll do an update video about how training goes and stuff like that. I'm very excited. Um, I'm just excited. Ugh. My friend, uh, one of my good friends, Natalie, she works at a Sephora in California. And I know she loves it. Um, she does have a big big uh instagram a beauty instagram uh she's amazing i'll link her below make sure you check her out um show her love please she like you want beautiful ass makeup she'll give it to you um i'll so i'll link her down below please bug her if you like her stuff bug her and tell her to start youtube again because she has a youtube channel but she stopped posting and i always get on her so if you like her stuff make sure you bug her and tell her um yeah, that's basically it. If you guys have any questions about Sephora, leave them down below. Um, again, for um, my subscribers, they didn't ask me, she didn't ask me anything about being transgender. She didn't ask about my whole name thing. I said, yeah. Um, she's like, at the end, she's like, do you have any more questions? I was like, well, I just have one thing. Um, legally, my name is Joey, but I do go by Jade. And she's like, okay, no problem. 
didn't question it, did nothing. So Sephora is pretty open. So yeah, so I'll come back after my whole training once I started, let you guys know any more questions that you leave down below or stuff like that. Um, follow me on Tumblr and Instagram. You can follow me on Twitter, but I'm not really on there that much, but I still post. And subscribe if you're not subscribed, and remember to keep your happiness first.